All right, hello everybody. Mr. Jim here, educator from Woodford Cedar Run Wildlife Refuge, here to talk to you today about our experiment of the week. Today we are doing ice fishing. If any of you have gone ice fishing outside, it's very different from what we are doing today. Instead of fishing for fish, today we're actually fishing for ice. Now, you might think this is kind of simple, and it's actually not too difficult to do, but we're gonna see how our experiment works here. All you'll need will be a small, a small bowl or a little cup, some a nice open top here. You need some ice, I have some ice in here mixed in with some water, as you can see there. Just plain ice, just plain tap water, nothing fancy. You will need some salt. You will need a string or a piece of yarn. I think yarn might work a little bit better because it's a little bit of absorbent. You can try it as part of the experiment, try some different types of string, see what works. And you don't necessarily need food coloring, but it can help you a little bit. So if I take our string, we're gonna pretend this is our fishing line. If I wanna catch the ice, I put it in, I put it on the ice, I wait, see the bites, and I wait, and I wait. I don't feel anything tugging. Nothing's pulling, nothing's dragging on there. I melted up, no ice. So we're gonna to to need to figure out a way to get the ice to kind of hold on to the string or bite. Now, ice is water. It's gonna freeze at about 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. So we need to figure out how to make this string get inside of this hard ice. For us to do that, we're gonna take a little tiny bit of salt just a little tiny bit. And then to make it a little bit easier for us to see, again, this is not necessary, but it helps a little bit. A little bit of food coloring, just one little tiny drop, right on your salt. Mix it in a little bit. Make it so you can see where the salt lands once we actually add it to our little experiment here. Mix it all in as much as you can. Bet you've never seen blue salt before, so that's kind of fun. Really mixed in here. You just want to get it colorful enough so when it mixes with the ice, so you can put it on top of there, it doesn't just blend in. Because that white ice, or the white salt, mixes up ice, can be really hard to see exactly where you had it. So if you put a little bit of food coloring in there, blue, green, red, yellow, whatever, something. Something to catch your eye. You then will take a little pinch of your salt. Look at your little ice cubes here. Try to look at a nice spot. It's kind of flat. You want to kind of sit on the ice. You don't want it just to just roll off. I'm going to sprinkle it on here. By the way, your fingers might turn a couple different colors there, depending on what you use. Color it. I'm going to sprinkle on a couple different areas because we'll try it in a couple different spots. See what works the best. So part of what makes this an experiment. We try different things. So I mix this on here. Then I take my string, I'm going to put it right on where I sprinkled some salt. I'm going to sprinkle a little tiny bit more, right around it, right on it. And then you have to wait a little bit, not too long, maybe a minute or so. Let that work its magic. And what is happening now is, like I said, water freezes at about 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but salt changes that. Here in New Jersey, we have the whole seaboard here, all of our beaches. In the winter time, the air temperature gets pretty cold, hopefully. This last winter, maybe not so much all the time, but theoretically it should be pretty cold in winter. But you notice the ocean doesn't really freeze around here. Only way up north does it freeze, up around the North Pole and South Pole. So in order for us to get this ice to change how it freezes, we need to add the salt. That salt in the ocean makes it actually not freeze at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Actually drops the freezing temperature a couple degrees. So by quickly adding the salt here, it actually will melt the top layer of the ice. We can then lay our little fishing string, our fishing line up here, in our case, again, yarn or whatever kind of string you have. It will lay on top of that ice. It will melt. The water gets absorbed into the string and it sinks down a little bit. And then after about a minute or so, it's gonna refreeze. At least that is our hope. That is how the experiment theoretically should work. We're gonna see how it goes here. I'm not gonna pull up fully yet. I'm just gonna give it a quick little move just to see if it holds a little bit. All right, let's move a little bit. I'm just gonna give it a couple of extra seconds there to hold on there. Like I said, you can use whatever color you want. Just be aware if you use your fingers, you're gonna dye your fingers. 
It's my gonna be blue for today. If you don't want to use your fingers, you can use popsicle stick like I used to mix it. You could stick it up on there. You could pop that on top of the ice. You can use whatever color you want there. Now, I would not drink this water afterwards. Not that necessarily would be bad for you, but it's really salty water when it really tastes good. You don't drink salt water. Actually, that much can make you sick. But just this one just wouldn't really taste good. Much better things for you to drink. Like I said, you can also use a bowl like this or you can use a small cup. And with a nice open jar that lets the air filter through it and lets you be able to get in there nice and easy with the salt, with ice, and with your string. I'm gonna give it a test here. Try to pull up a little bit. Over. I'm gonna see if it can move the ice block. Oh, it's frozen a little bit. You can see it's tugging onto it. But I think I'm actually stuck to a much larger piece of ice than I can really lift this little string without it lifting up there. See, it came up a little bit there. So if you press it in, add a little bit more salt. Right around it, right on it. Makes it in. And if you actually go in and if you then feel it, you'll notice that right where you put the salt, it is a little bit wet on top of the ice. Small little layer on top melted just for a little bit. As that salt is having a chemical reaction with the water, it's lower in that freezing temperature. So when it's at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it now drops lower. So it's gonna melt, turn into water, and then it'll quickly freeze again as it sits there with the rest of the ice. So you can try this experiment with different types of string. You can try it with different colors of salt. Try different shapes of ice cube. Our ice that we have here is really kind of oddly shaped, how to chip it off a big block of it. So you can try the square ones, if you have round ones, you can try a whole bunch of different shapes. See which is the best option in order for you to get this to work properly. Part of our science experiments is sometimes science doesn't do what you expect it to do. And that's part of the fun. You never know exactly what's gonna happen. We have the whole scientific process. We're going to see if it moves here a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit more stuck to it. Whoop, see, it did move a little bit there, so it did stick. If you let it sit there for a little bit longer, and you can actually, I don't know if you can see on the camera here, there's actually a little bit of ice stuck to the end of the string here. So it did start to refreeze to it. So if you let it sit there for a little bit more, it'll freeze to it, and we had to go fishing for ice. I want to really whip it back. Because if someone's behind you, you might hit them with a chunk of ice. But hey, if they get hurt, they have ice to sort their hook with. So you never know. All right, so that is our experiment for today. Like I said, try different colors, try different shapes of ice, try different string. See what you can do. Uh, hope you have a good time ice fishing. Summer coming up might be a nice way to keep cool. But I want to drink the water, put the ice on you afterward, a little bit salty. But being around the ice will help cool you off. So thanks for checking in. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you.